Okay, what you want to do next is to see the results of your crystal structure solution. For that reason, you have a res file which corresponds to your results. So ints would correspond to extraction, res correspond to your results. For that, you need to use um, the program called XP. And in this case, you would need to type XP and name of file without extension. So it would be deals. Press enter and you enter XP. So XP it's a software which allows you to modify and see your structure. Very very useful. So um, uh, first thing what you need to do is uh, XP contain its own commands and to see all the commands you need just type help and if you want to know uh, what any of the comments doing uh, you need to type help and the comment name so for example fmol and that's the instruction about this fmol command so it's a lot of different comments but the more you use them the better you know them so and here if you will repeat my examples I think you uh, you will know those comments better and better and better so any of the structure, uh, any any time you want to see your results, what you need to begin with it's with a comment fmo. It's pretty much you do it every time after you um, enter XP. So fmo pretty much reads all your uh, at atom information and uh, enters it into the program. So next thing you want to see your model. Well. To do that, you need to type a uh, command proj or projection, and you can easily see now your model. Maybe it looks funny for now, but let's rotate it. With uh, arrow keys, you can go to rotate button and press enter. And I know it's lagging because I probably record uh, recording the video, but you can see it's actually rotating. Uh, if you want to stop rotating at specific position, you press enter again and it stops. Um, well, let's see what type of atoms we have. And right now you see the all atoms or all uh, atoms right now mark as Q or Q peaks. Well, we know after crystal structure solution we get the peaks of electron density. And until we name them. Uh, name them as atoms, they still st stating as a cubic or peaks of electron density. Well, during structure solution, we get good peaks and obviously we get a bad peaks. So, good peaks would correspond to our atoms and bad peaks correspond to nothing. So, the next thing what you need to do is to separate your uh, good peaks or, or atoms from your bad picks. So that's what we're gonna do. So press escape to go out from the uh, approach mode and uh, to separate your good picks from a bad picks uh, you need to type the command sort slash n. What it's do it separates all your uh, picks by intensity from the high to low. Well, understandable the atoms with high intensity would correspond to the atoms, atoms uh, peaks with low intensity will correspond to nothing. So, to do, uh, to see the uh, peaks uh, information or any uh, information, we'll just type comment info. So, it will give you information about the, each peak and what is the most important thing um, I don't know, my mouse here doesn't work. Uh, here, okay. So, in uh, here you see the table um, with information where you see the atom name, XYZ coordinates, atom type, color, atom radi, bond radi, another radi, um, a thermal parameter, and then peak. Peak would correspond to the intensity of each particular uh, peak of electron density. Um, so, how to separate good from bad? How I told you, the atoms will have 
the highest peaks versus um, wrong peaks or error peaks will have low intensity. So you can see first um, it would be first 18 peaks would have very high intensity versus after that 19 till 25 you'll have quite low intensity in comparison to the first peak. So you have this breakage uh, in 50 electron uh, per, uh, per cubic angstrom. So it's a very big peak, uh, it's a very big drop um, and that's what you need to look for. Um, understandable the peaks with high intensity will correspond to the atoms. Peaks with low intensity will correspond to the errors. So, how to separate them? Now you need to kill or delete all the peaks from 19 and below. So, it would be 19 till 25. So, to do that, you need to type kill Q19 space 2 Q25. Press enter and you can see seven atoms being elim eliminated. So, and right now if you press info you get only high intensity peaks. So right now let's see what we got after we separate good peaks from bad. And you can clearly see the structure I'll rotate it a little bit so you can clearly see the structure so it's actually um, different than what we proposed you can see in this case uh, we propose that it will be uh, only uh, um, the uh, one deal solder reaction happens so one between one di diene and uh, one double bond in benzoquinone but in this case we can clearly see it's two dienes are reacted with two double bonds in benzoquinone so it's another example that in another uh, way to say that in fact uh, the what the chemist propose to you might be not true so you always need to know the chemistry of this reaction to see what else can happen. So sometimes whatever chemist bringing you and telling you it's hundred percent this thing, in fact, majority of times it's usually something different. So well, now we we separated good peaks from bad peaks. We can see our molecule, but what we need to do now is to name our atoms. So how we do that? Well, first of all, we need to figure out where is oxygen, where is carbons. Um, if you will put uh, all labels, all labels on our model, you can clearly see that you have Q1 and Q2, yes, and they probably correspond to the oxygens. Well, to check that, we can uh, find the bond lengths between uh, this, uh, between Q2 and Q11 and Q1 and Q7. And if it's double bond, CO double bond, it should be about 1.2. Well, to do that, we can use the command bank, bond and angle, and we type in Q1, Q2. And you can see it shows us the bond lengths, and you can see in both cases it's very close to 1.2 angstroms. So, um, in this case, we can say, yeah, Q1 and Q2 are in fact oxygens. Well, to name them, it's a common called name. So, to name uh, Q2 as, uh, uh, or Q1 as oxygen 1, we need to type name Q1 O1. And if you do proj, you can see our Q1 become red and it's correspond right now to O1. Now let's go escape. So right, let's do the same thing with Q2. So name Q2 O2. Oops, you see I accidentally press O1 and it's given me so you cannot do that. Um, we already have O1 so let's uh, rename them. 
Uh, let's say do. So name Q2 O2. Yeah, it allows us to do so. so if you go approach, we name our oxygens. So right now, um, everything else what we got it's carbons. Well, how we can name carbons? Well, you can use common name and name them one by one, but what you can do is to use uh, special characters uh, to do the naming, uh, it will speed up the naming process. So what you do, you need to type name, Q question, it means uh, any Q atom with a one number, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this is it. So ten will have already two numbers, and then C question, and you can see it's rename all seven atoms. So if you do approach, you can see the all carbons, uh, it's uh, uh, which have one number. So all as atoms, so ten and above, they have two numbers. So to rename them, we need to type name Q double question C double question. Press enter. You can see you rename uh, remaining atoms. So and you can see you name all your oxygens, all your carbons, and what you got, uh, you got your first model. That's what I prefer to call it first model. So it's maybe not your final model, but it's your first model with which you can actually save and start refining it. So, okay, let me stop this uh, rotation, escape from that. Now we need to write it to ins file this model. To do so, we using command file file, the name of your file, name of your ins file. So our name of ins file was deals. And you press an enter, it's saying this one, say yes. Um, and you're done. To go out, you can use a, either use quit or exit. Both comments work. I prefer to use quit. So now you found your first model, you're ready for your structure refine.